The All Four Minis and Super 1600s final about to get underway then here. The All Four Minis lining up on the front row. Then there's a rose gap back to the Super 1600 machines. It's going to be the number 93 who will start on pole position then in this race, who is David Bell. Alongside him, the company will be the number 35. Ready to race board then is the display. Green lights on and go. Good start then for the pole sitter of David Bell as they come down towards the first corner. Keep an eye on the outside there for the number three. That's Adrian Turner. He's now on the inside of the 35 of uh, Martin Hawks as they come through. The Super 1600's coming to some trouble as well there with Darren Scott having stopped at the first corner. So that is not good at all for the number 25 who has driven brilliantly so far here today in the Super 1600's class. Now that means the leader in the Super 1600's is going to be Craig Lomax behind the wheel of his brand new Citroen C1. But work to do then for Darren Scott as he has got to recover his way through the field. Lots of dust being kicked up as that dirt begins to dry out in the ever hot conditions that we have here at Pembrey but it is going to be the number 93 who will lead the way at the end of the first lap so David Bell behind the wheel of that all four mini is in front as he comes over the timing line to start the second lap here in the final and let's see whether he is going to be able to hold off the charge of uh, anybody else then in this race number 35 of Martin Hawks doing a good job of keeping the pressure on the back of David Bell. The all four minis having a bit of a gap back to the Super 1600s then. Meanwhile, Phil Chicken putting some pressure also on the race lead of Craig Lomax. Lomax pulling off, I believe, to the side of the circuit, or was there a bit of contact from what I could see in my vantage point? It was a little bit difficult to make out, but either way, Craig Lomax now out, potentially, of contention in this race. He continues on, so whether he just ran it a bit wide, I'm not 100% sure, but that's not ideal at all there for the Citroen C1 driver. And it does allow Phil Chicken to take over the lead of this race so it is then the number 93 of David Bell who leads now going into the Joker is Martin Hawks behind the wheel of the number 35 machine he goes Joker gets himself out of traffic and comes through in towards the left hander and then the right in these very technical S section bends for the hairpin and on towards the back straight where these all four minis a brand new category for 2021 in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship begin to put the pressure on and now it's uh, Lomax versus Darren Scott actually for honours as to the driver who's had an incident in the race because they are battling for position Scott now going down the inside at the bottom of the straight into Brooklyn's they go Scott up the inside the 25 is through ahead then of Craig Lomax for position it's only for fifth place in the race but either way David Scott will take that one he'll be pretty pleased and happy with that result if it stays as it is Meanwhile, David Bell behind the wheel of the number 93 still continues in the lead of the race. At the moment, still got to over that joker lap, let's not forget, but still plenty of time to do it. We're only at the halfway stage in this race. Darren Scott now going down the inside of Phil Chicken. So Scott getting himself back into the lead of the Super 1600 category here for round three at Pembrey. The number 25 behind the wheel of the Citroen C2 is in front in the Super 1600 class then. So despite Phil Chicken's best efforts, it's not quite enough to be able to mount that challenge. But David Bell doing a uh, superlative job then out there on track and that's uh, no surprise at all because he has led comfortably so far here today for round three, a win in heat two, a win in heat three and second place in that first heat earlier on this morning. Proves that he has got the pace underneath him to be fighting at the sharp end in this brand new category. Lots of experience, of course, behind the wheel of minis as David Bell. And a fantastic job he is doing out there on track here so far. Martin Hawks then still sitting in third place. Adrian Turner, second place rather, I should say. Adrian Turner behind the number three in third position as it stands here so far. That four out of six we are on in this Super 1600s and all four minis category. Still Darren Scott that leads the way, so despite those dramas and the opening lap, I'm very impressed with how Scott has been able to recover from those dramas that he's had. And Martin Hawks there sitting in uh, second position as well in the all four minutes. Great result it will be for him so far. David Bell not having much pressure from behind in the form of Martin Hawks and likewise Adrian Turner. The field relatively spread out in terms of the uh, performances so far here, but 
It's a new category, of course, let's not forget, and there's plenty of time for it to develop, so I'm sure as it develops, the field will get closer, the racing will continue to get closer, and I'm sure we'll see lots of exciting racing action here in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. But ultimate lap we are on now here then, and it is David Bell that leads the way as he comes around the final corner and in towards the first corner. And onto the gravel section then for the last time of asking. A great drive then from David Bell. Martin Hawkes there in second position, followed by Adrian Turner in P3. And then, uh, as we said, Darren Scott, Phil Chicken, and Craig Lomax being the Super 1600 competitors then in this race. I'm sure we'll see more entries as the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship continues on over the course of 2021. And it'd be great to see more drivers competing in this class and I'm sure we'll see lots of exciting racing action as the season continues on but over the line and taking the win is David Bell in the number 93 all four mini ahead of Martin Hawks ahead of Adrian Turner then it is the first of the Super 1600 cars in the form of Darren Scott followed by Phil Chicken who will finish in second position and then Craig Lomax who will finish third in class sixth overall in that race in the all-four mini and super 1600 category here in Pembroke.